after spending 15 years in corporate finance i had become totally capitalist you know and uh, my life was about the black suits the silk ties the chauffeur driven car the five star hotel parties you know and the golf course kuch bhi karo yaar hindustani aadmi desi kata hai itni ki kata hai kuch bhi karo yaar hindustani aadmi desi kata hai itni ki kata hai so i wanted to say that entrepreneurship is also not about challenges but sabar ka phal meeta hota hai we also had a great success i think every crisis is an opportunity and uh, entrepreneurship have a attitude to never ever give up very good so Nishika. how how's the lockdown going for you oh the lockdown in mumbai yes it's been more than now 70 days and uh, luckily we are busy doing a lot of activity on zoom and talking to all our team members across india so so any old hobby that you've now, now adopted uh hold up be now adopted yes uh reading has been there for me for a long time and uh, writing so i am trying to do both reading and writing you know, uh, during late evening okay so sir can you tell us a bit about your background before you started goliwada pav see my childhood was uh, again um, a very normal childhood uh, born and brought up in a suburbs of mumbai called dubivli and my dad is to work for a multinational company called colgate and uh, i was a intelligent student but scored very average marks in schools my father introduced me to a lot of good books those days at a very young age and there was most probably a reddy shop in my locality and i spent a lot of my time in the reddy shop so i was exposed to a lot of uh, literature uh, whether you can say shakespeare somerset maugham you know uh, books on industrial age books on vasco da gama columbus uh, roman empire you know alexander indian civilization you know roman so got exposed to a varied amount of reading even marxism capitalism and all so i think uh, uh, this was my childhood at when i became more teenager by post 15 i got interested in cricket and played a lot of cricket with the aspiration to do uh, making cricket as my career but being born and brought up in a suburbs of mumbai we never got a chance or never pursued that hobby and by the time i was 21 i was confused what to do with life cricket um, uh, marketing entrepreneurship uh, or a job you know and i took up the financial services uh, industry and uh, 1989 onwards i have been associated with the financial services industry and uh, later on i started my own small consulting firm which was about arranging funds for corporates so my 15 years went in meeting corporate clients meeting bankers arranging funds for them either through a ipo either from a bank or from a leasing company so my job was called either corporate uh, finance guy or as a investment banker so 15 years i spent doing this and that's how my life went so sir with what intent and with what realization did you start goliwada pow and what was the vision behind it okay so after spending 15 years in corporate finance i had become totally capitalist you know and uh, my life was about the black suits the silk ties the chauffeur driven car uh, five star hotel parties you know and the golf course uh, boardroom meetings so very cozy good life traveling 24 by 7 you know uh, from one city to other city we had and uh, uh, life looked to be very beautiful for a young uh, college graduate you know in financial services work and the work that was doing was also good you know in terms of i had uh, done some wonderful work in retail in computer education arranged huge amount of money for all those people and i had made a small mark for myself in the financial sector but somewhere um, there was one wanky was on the outside world with the black suit silk ties and the five star party and there was a wanky was different so whenever i used to come back home and i used to see i used to have this gap you know uh, there is one wanky inside and there is one wanky who is outside and one day when i was coming back from vt uh, towards navi mumbai where i stay uh, so my driver was driving the car most probably i was reading a book in the car and around p uh, p demelo road you know uh, 
uh, in the signal, it was raining very heavily, 7, 7.30 in the evening. And as the, my car halted near the signal, I peeped out of the window and I saw a huge dustbin or a garbage. And on that garbage was overflowing with garbage and stinking. And I saw a seminated boy, you know, five-year-old young child boy and uh, with poverty written all over his face. And uh, he was trying to pull a chapati from a dog's mouth, you know. One end of the chapati was in the boy's hand, and the other end of the chapati was in the dog's mouth, and he was crying. Uh, I looked at that scene and I got frozen. I didn't know what it me. That night when dinner was served to me on my table, I just couldn't eat the dinner. And this uh, image or the movie of this boy, which got captured in my mental camera, was played again and again many times for the next three, six, nine months time. And somewhere, my capitalist world, I became a conscious capitalist or I became more compassionate. And I started thinking about that after spending 15 years in corporate finance, what can I do to reduce poverty in India? What can I do in a small way, some impact for the underprivileged poor? And that's when the thought process came. If at all I do a business, a business that will get associated with the poor, underprivileged. And that's why education for the poor, employment for the poor, or entrepreneurship for the poor. I was confused. But I said education, employment, and entrepreneurship for the poor, if I can do, and create an impact, that will be very good. And I was still thinking about the idea. And that's when uh, my mobile ringtone was this famous song. Chodo kal ki baate, kal ki baat purani, nahe dor mein likhenga, milka nahi kaani, ame hindustani, ame hindustani. And uh, I should start the day with a Colgate paste, ame hindustani, with a Gillette razor, ame hindustani, with a Nokia mobile those days, ame hindustani, Nike ka juta, cross ka pen, Ray-Ban ka sunglasses. I was thinking, is me hindustan ka hai so Somewhere the thought process was, I should do an Indian brand. Because at the core, I was also a marketing and a branding person. And what uh, do I do? In those days, uh, the Kellogg's CEO was to my neighbor. And somewhere after spending some 10, 15 years with Kellogg's, he was going back to UK, uh, you know, joining a management consultancy firm. So in his send-off party, I asked, why by Kellogg's case? You know, it's such a big company. And in his send-off party, he muttered, Kuch bhi karo yaar, Hindustani admi desi kata hai, itni ki kata hai. I could see the frustration of a multinational food company's top leadership team and a great opportunity for us. Yes, 100 crores plus population, I could see the opportunity. Even 50 crores population target. In year, I could see the item in It's a 500 crores opportunity. In year, I could see the opportunity. It's a 5,000 crores opportunity. Now that opportunity started very strongly in my mind. So first, it was idea, Indian brand. Second stage in the idea was opportunity. It's a food business I have to do. Food me kare to kya kare? Because India is a big country. India is not one single country. North is a alu paratha country and a samosa country. South is a idli dosa country. West is a um, ragada patties, bel puri, all those. So kare to kya kare? And one day outside VT station, I saw this huge banner of McDonald's. 40 feet plus banner. And uh, I was saw that vada pav wala under that banner. I would have picked up my vada pav. And as I was about to buy, take a bite of the Vodapo, I looked at that 40 feet ka burger ka photograph outside a McDonald's store on that building. And, and I saw the Vodapo. It looked like a twin brother story. You know, 1940s, 670s movies, Ram or Shyam, you know, uh, old Indian movies. Big buy America chala gaya, 40,000 plus Big buy Agni, buy the footpath me You know, something like that struck me, you know. Your inspiration can come from anywhere, you know, Eureka moment. And when I looked at that, why twin brother? That was anything between buns, this was anything between. That was mayonnaise, this was chutney. That was lettuce, right. this was chili. My God, it took me. And I said, I have to do what up. I have to do what up. Because if burger can become so big, why not what up? That's how I zeroed in on what up. Now, what up may be, why what up? You know, this again, as an entrepreneur, first is what? What comes from intuition? What comes from emotions? You know, there is something called bhakti. You know, the bhakti is passion. But also there is something called jnana and bhajagovindam, which is knowledge. We have to keep on asking why, why, why? Bhakti, Jnana and Karma. So the first stage of anything is to a large extent. Uh, most of the passionate people, they hit their purpose with passion, with the heart. The second thing is with the mind, intelligence. Why, why? So when I ask the why question, Jnana, I started feeling India is changing. The woman is working. The kitchen is shrinking. India is changing. The woman has started working. And the kitchen is shrinking. Right. And Kitchen is shrinking, food has to come from outside. And food may sub kuch hai, but khani ke liye time Sab ke liye time hai, but khani ke liye time hai. That's the new generation thing. You know, you can't sit on a thali 
ദോശ 50 dosa in 5 minute outside the other station outside some important station in delhi outside some bangalore station where people are rushing no no time to eat food and 5 uh, minute mein 50 mazal dosa customer ko service kar paoge nahi because uske liye aapko kafi tawa lagega and then 5 minutes mein 50 pani puri customer ko service kar paoge nahi 5 minute mein 50 grill sandwich customer ko service kar paoge nahi just imagine but 5 minute mein bombay ke footpath mein kadai So that vessel, 50 वड़ा जरूर निकलता है पाव के बीच में घुसाड़ के दे दो इट फॉल्स इन टू डेफिनेशन पांच मिनट में वड़ा तल के निकल जाता है पाव के बीच में चटनी लगा के दे दो सेकंड आफ्टर फास्ट फूड द सेकंड मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट क्वालिटी व्हाट आई सॉ इन वड़ा पाव इज व्हाई व्हाई वड़ा पाव इट्स अ मोबाइल फूड इफ इट इज इडली एंड डोसा देयर इज सांभर एंड चटनी इफ देयर इज सांभर एंड चटनी देयर इज प्लेट एंड स्पून इफ देयर इज प्लेट एंड स्पून देयर इज टेबल एंड चेयर टेबल और चेयर आ गया और रियल एस्टेट इकोनॉमिक्स इज वेरी वेरी कॉस्टली इमेजिन आप ₹10 या ₹15 का एक आइटम बेच रहे हो and like 18 year old young lovers come and sit in this too aapko main aake dal ke 2 ghanta time pass karte hain aur 15 rupaye ka saman khate hain ab hamara business ka to band ho jayega right. so that's when i said fast food ke baad finger food finger food is the most important and vada pav doesn't require sambar doesn't require chutney doesn't require table doesn't require char nothing vada pav fast food finger food and because it's a finger food it's also a mobile food आप बम्बे में देखा रहेगा वीटी लाइफ एंड डेथ सिचुएशन कल्याण टू वीटी ट्रैवल करते रहेंगे ताने स्टेशन के बाद लटकते रहेंगे या दादर स्टेशन के बाद रात में बड़ा पाव जरूर होता है लाइफ एंड डेथ सिचुएशन ट्रेन के विंडो के बाद लटकते हुए कैन यू डू इट विद मसाला डोसा नो कैन यू डू इट विद पानी पूरी नो कैन यू डू इट विद द ग्रिल सैंडविच नो सो समवेयर आई स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग फास्ट फूड फिंगर फूड एंड मोबाइल फूड इज द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट एटीट्यूड लॉट ऑफ पीपल स्टार्टेड सेइंग वीटी वड़ा पाव बम्बे के बाद चलेगा क्या बट आई डिडंट गो बाय फॉर्म because what about us not being sold outside mumbai and pune most of all it's not a whole maharashtra it's only bombay pune those days when i started it. and then i said i do, as entrepreneurs we shouldn't go by form we should go by content so i said what is there in pune what about potato and wheat north mein aloo paratha mein kya hai potato samosa mein kya hai potato aloo hai south mein masala dosa mein kya hai aloo hai south mein bonda mein kya hai aloo hai lays mein kya hai aloo hai finger chips mein kya hai aloo hai how many people will say i don't like aloo किसी ने हाथ उठाया तो उसको खिड़की के बाहर फेंक यू नो दैट्स ऑल बिकॉज़ आलू इज गॉट अ वेरी यूनिवर्सल अपील एंड समहाउ आई फेल्ट दैट इट्स नॉट बाय फॉर्म इट शुड गो बाय कंटेंट तो वड़ा पाव कैन गो नेशनल एंड इट्स आल्सो गॉट बेसन हल्दी नाम ने थोड़ा सा बेसन को तेल में डाला और मसाला लगाया इट बिकेम अ 1000 करोड़ रुपए इतना बड़ा हो गया आई सेड लुकिंग एट ऑल दिस क्वालिटीज ऑफ वड़ा पाव फास्ट फूड फिंगर फूड मोबाइल फूड पोटैटो बेसन बट आई फेल्ट वड़ा पाव वाज लाइक अमिताभ बच्चन यू डोंट हैव टू सेल अमिताभ बच्चन वो सत्तर साल में या साठ साल में केबीसी करके एक प्रोग्राम पे आ जाता है रिटायर होने के बाद आफ्टर सो मेनी बैड शॉट्स इन लाइफ आफ्टर सो मेनी फेलियर्स इन लाइफ इन बिटवीन बिकॉज ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स इन बिकॉज ऑफ एबीसीएल ही जस्ट केम एंड वेंट बैक टू एक्टिंग ही हैड दैट नेचुरल चार्म द होल वर्ल्ड एक्सेप्टेड इवन एट सेवेंटी इज नॉट रिटायरिंग सो ऑल बिजनेस आइडिया लाइक अमिताभ बच्चन शुड हैव दैट पुल एंड वड़ा पाव आई फेल्ट इन फूड बाय द ग्रेट पुल एंड दैट्स वाई आई जीरो डिन ऑन वड़ा पाव एंड कमिंग टू दिस क्वेश्चन Uh, why did i choose the name brand goli you know that yeah. thought process of brand goli so what i wanted to say was all my friends said when ki english is aspirational aapko angrezi naam dena chahiye angrezi naam but somewhere i felt there is a sari in south called nalli sari can you call nalli sari as juli sari it's a 7500 euro store you can't call nalli sari a juli sari can you call aldiram's bujiya as sam's bujiya nahi can you call murugan sidli as peter sidli नो अंग्रेजी मारी होता है देसी कारी होता है वॉट इज एसिंग अंग्रेजी मारी होता है देसी कारी होता है बड़ा पॉज बॉर्न ऑफ द फुटपाथ ऑफ मुंबई का फुटपाथ का अपना एक लैंग्वेज है अपना एक रंग है मुन्ना भाई का सज्जे दत्त उड़ी रापचिक आइटम मुन्ना भाई गोली रंगीला का आमिर सत्या का बिकू मा बॉलीवुड मूवीज एंड द लैंग्वेज इज वेरी टपूरी एंड दैट्स वाई से कुड़ी रापचिक आइटम मुन्ना भाई गोली एंड दैट्स वाई वी कॉल इट गोली just to give it that the essence yes it's mumbai connection bilkul so sir uh, what were the 
challenges and obstacles you faced when goli vada pav was in the you know the very birth period and when you were starting with the so the first thing i would say as entrepreneurs what we have is an idea in your mind when we go to the market always challenges are going to come it's like you know aapko ek ladki se college mein pyar ho jata hai aap gulab leke ek love letter leke usko approach karte ho you know that's how i would say you know when youth in college days to chitti aur gulab jab tak dete ho to confident rehta hai आपको रियलिटी जब लगेगा जब तुम चिट्ठी और गुलाब और लड़की के हाथ में देते हो तभी समझता है थप्पड़ मिलेगा या प्यार मिलेगा सो माइंड टू मार्केट इज अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल जर्नी फॉर एंटरप्रेनर्स तो व्हेन यू टेक इट फ्रॉम द माइंड टू मार्केट यू विल नो द चैलेंजेस दोस चैलेंजेस आर दोस सो इन माय केस आई स्टार्टेड फेसिंग चैलेंजेस देयर आर हंड्रेड्स ऑफ चैलेंजेस दैट फॉर ऑल एंटरप्रेनर्स वी नेवर फेस प्रॉब्लम्स एज एंटरप्रेनर्स बिकॉज़ वी लाइक चैलेंजेस वी वांट टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स दैट्स व्हाई वी गेट इनटू दिस वर्ल्ड ऑफ एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप ओके एंड वी फील दैट वी कैन सॉल्व वर्ल्ड्स प्रॉब्लम इन सम वे और द अदर बिग स्मॉल मीडियम and uh, i at that time face this three as the most important challenge wastage sabere mal banao sham tak kharab ho jata so product didn't have a shelf life so we used to have a central kitchen and we used to have 15 stores those days and those 15 stores mein kachcha mal banke jata aloo ka masala goli banke jata tha potato and then usme chili ginger gram ka paste dal ke chote chote 50 gram ka goliya bana dete aur har tray mein 100 goliyan hoti thi aur 10 tray ek dukaan mein jata tha hazar goliyan उसको स्टोर लेवल पे बेसन में मिला के बैटर में मिला के फ्राई करके पाव के बीच में लगा के देते थे सो दिस प्रोडक्ट विच वॉजिंग कच्चा माल बिकेम वेस्टेज बाई शाम को बिकॉज इट वॉज नॉट डन बाई मशीन इट वॉज डन बाई ह्यूमन हैंड एंड देर वॉज नो टेक्नोलॉजी इन दॉ आई सेट वेस्टेज बिकॉज देर इज नॉट ए सिंगल फास्ट फूड चेन फॉर हंड्रेड क्रोज पॉपुलेशन वी स्टिल हैव मैकडोनल्ड वी स्टिल हैव डोमिनोज वी स्टिल हैव सब वे शेम ऑन मी वी शुड हैव ए नेशनल फास्ट फूड चेन फॉर हंड्रेड क्रोज पॉपुलेशन एंड आई फॉर्म to make it national the first thing was i should require technology for what up second problem was pill fridge ek goli ka do goli ban jata tha koi goli je bichte the kachcha mal usme se har goli mein se chota chota us so mein se nikal ke wo log 10 naya goli bana dete so customer the tumhara goli chote hote ja rahe so because of the franchisee or the store boys make some money out of it pill fridge the third was standardization agar cook aur chef bhag gaya kitchen mein to taste change ho jata tha so people used to see aapka taste kitchen mein bada tha acha टेक्नोलॉजी करते करते में काफी पैसा बारो करने लगा My daughter used to say, "Papa, don't come for PTA meeting, Parent Teachers Association." I mean, five minutes you get, and he'll start some my friend's father for some money, you know, short-term loan. Because as entrepreneurs, you fall short of money, and then borrowing becomes a little habit. My father used to say, "Don't come to any marriages. We'll start borrowing money." So somewhere at this stage, I started became mad and passionate to find technology for what about? My banker said, "When he what about the burger? Ne banega? Tu jaroor banega." And he said, "You better stop this business." And he gave me 15 days time. and in 15 days time i said let me do something so i bumped into a person and he said maybe i can help you he was a middle east sardar ji and i said okay and he came to kalyan to see what we were doing at college he saw what we were doing made notes and then he, he was maybe the thousand person i would have given a talk about wastage prefetch many people i would have talked he was the thousand person or 1100 person i don't know more than 900 people i would have talked and when he came when he saw and i was in touch with him in the months time he said why don't you come to my factory i went to his factory and when i went to his factory he said when we are the people who make burger patty for mcdonald i got a board resolution from chicago mcdonald corporation and was a corporation that became become partners and he gave me a packet of a sample based on my formula which i sent him and he said try it and when i fr- fried it in the store and tried i felt the product was 60% right very close to the product which we wanted i said wonderful idea and we started doing r and d to improve that product in the next 3 6 9 months time we developed our batata vada the formula and the taste was ours and the machine was that with the american joint venture batata vada which was normally done in the greater south mumbai started being done in a fully automatic man and every vada started going through a metal detector and extra machine and for that i have to say you find the purpose the means will follow mahatma gandhi and paulo coelho You have a dream. The dream has come with the whole universe. It is the responsibility of the universe to fulfill the dream. The universe conspires to help you achieve it. So I solved the product problem. The first problem was the product problem. So I say not a problem, a challenge. The second was that we wanted to expand. Kalyan and Dobli ka bada was ten thousand, fifteen thousand. The suburbs of Mumbai, far away from me. 
you know it takes by train to go one and a half to us to these these places you know even in a fast train so the rental was hardly 50000 those days but as you come to thani as you go to dadar as you go to amderi the rentals keeps on changing and by the time you go to dadar and south bombay it is 2 lakh rent or 1.5 lakhs or 1.75 lakhs we put up a few stores in uh, greater bombay and then suddenly we found that south bombay and north bombay the rental economics was not working my investor said they had a small hn in industry he said agar business chal nahi sakta to band kar do this is not the way and i said give me some weeks time and let's i said let me find out what i can do okay and i went around mumbai from dadar nariman point vt pedar road walkeshwar andheri sharukh khan ka bungle ke idhar amitabh bachchan ke bungle ke idhar andheri mein jo mein and wherever i went i saw one are milk boot on the foot i counted them in the next 3 4 days it was more than 1500 and 1500 dekh i got excited early morning when the people used to come to open the booth i started having a chat with them because them ab dud bechte ho vada pav bechu ho kya and to a large extent under people i would have talked and everybody said they were ready to sell vada pav and this was a authorized milk booth on the foot path of mumbai and i said wow now i have solved the problem of real estate and we tied up with ra changed that entire ra milk booth into goli vada pav with a little branding of even ra and painted red and white the entire what they call the kiosk which was there on the footpath of mumbai 50 square feet and then put a fridge and a fryer and business chalu kar diya imagine 350 booths were launched and we said wow my investor said what a idea i was very happy pedar road walkeshwar where real estate was gold ware had some 55 booths nariman point had seven booths gateway of india had got two booths kolaba had got six booths sharukh khan ke bungalow ke bare mein tha so i said wow we had had it it looked like a great idea and we were very excited i put all my four and of course into that business which had raised money as a equity and we were very happy unfortunately 2007 8 or 8 9 was a election year in maharashtra two brothers were splitting you know and i was the madrasi doing what up on the footpath of mumbai and it became a politically sensitive issue in mumbai before i could realize there was a union formed in ra the few of our stores got burned up two three stores and some unprecedented incidents started happening people started calling me up and threatening me and that's the time when i said i had to withdraw from the ra mm-hmm. so both my back end partner that is uh, people were supplying to mcdonald and my investors panicked and i had no option but to withdraw from the ra booth i am not going to elaborate what all happened because so that had landed me in further problems and uh, at this juncture we lost all that four and a half five crores and slowly withdraw those from the ra booth luckily we were able to remove the fridge and the fryer from the ra milk booth and some whatever gadgets we had bought so we removed it from 350 booths and kept it in a cooler and i said let me do something the investor said you close down your business or you have to raise new money so luckily we had a good name because of ra uh, people had noticed us and so we will raise a second round of funding because we had good pedigree investors and at this juncture we had some letters but unfortunately 2009 lehman brothers happened so big share happened and satyam this lehman brothers was the biggest virus that happened today we are talking about covid but my team used to say thank you what is this virus called lehman brothers and everything collapsed in the financial world so that letter whatever i had was a scrap paper and i couldn't raise that money there was no money there was no manpower and there was no market the entire 350 ra booth had to be closed down i couldn't pay salaries because there was no money and i couldn't raise the next round of funding yeah, sir, people sir, said pinky goli what what year was this this was 2009 okay so at this juncture 8 9 so at this juncture we thought we were finished and i did a different thing i went ahead and borrowed money at 2 and a half 3 crores at 28% interest and said let me continue doing the business i took some panga with the existing investors at that time and i said kuch to hoga i also was not very sure because i was passionate i did it and luckily for me at this particular point of time one inquiry came from nasik and nasik me kisne tabhi vada pav ka dukan khola and nasik me har das dukan khol diya nasik me kisne vada pav ka aaya to aurangabad khol diya aurangabad me kisne vada pav ka aaya parbani khol diya parbani me somebody ate vada pav latur khol diya before you could see entire nagpur nasik aurangabad marathwada amravati akola we had 75 plus stores totally open and goli started rocking now what do you call it what happened i want to give a summary here when the hari milbut happened the politics of vada pav 
and the politics of what happened the media started covering a lot about the politics of what happened somebody from ac nielsen called me up a research company and said venki why are you crying you have got 15 crores of media publicity free in the last 9 months time i said out every day z news every day ndtv news every day times now every day sakal looks at they are covering the politics of what happened they are also showing your 350 rmi with the goli ban and when i opened my email box we had got a lot of inquiries from all over india more than 3000 to 5000 and suddenly we got into a franchising model after maharashtra karnataka we had some distros then tamil nadu started a little bit on andhra pradesh then punjab started then uh, up started then gujarat uh, not gujarat um, rajasthan started madhya pradesh started and before we could realize south north west east we had some 350 stores pan india in 20 states and 100 cities so this was the biggest lesson that i learned so where the, the so there is a challenge there is always a solution ah yes i think every crisis is an opportunity right and uh, entrepreneurship have had to never ever give up so so you uh, spoke about compassionate capitalism in one of the answer can you elaborate for the listeners about the same what is it like how do you so be- before um, uh, uh, i would go into compassionate capitalism uh, i wanted to elaborate that uh, some things you know i sh- i talked to you about all the downside that we had but goli also faced a lot of sweet successes so post 2011 what also happened was uh, suddenly as we started expanding across india uh, i ended up becoming a speaker i would have given th- more than 350 talks in various business schools ISB did a case study on us, which became very famous. IMD Switzerland did a case study on us, that became very beautiful. And uh, Harvard did a case study. CNBC came and did a book on us. So what happened was, I, all these times I f- spoke about the challenges. So everybody shouldn't feel demotivated. We also s- tasted some outstanding success. You know, imagine uh, across uh, India and across the world, people are writing cases. Most of the business schools were teaching Goli Vada Pao. Uh, we won the coca cola golden spoon award for 3 years along with dominos uh, the media started writing about us case studies happened there was a book on cnbc you would say that it was like an outstanding success so my most goosebump moment was i always wanted wada pav to be respected i always wanted wada pav to be uh, seen as a serious industry and because of all this we tasted huge success so i think uh, the beautiful moments also as entrepreneurs we also see the downside we also see the successes but this success was something like outstanding then venturees came and invested money with us and then we had money and we recruited a lot of people we had a big we got a big office we had people from itc we had people from unilever we had people from mcdonald we had people from uh, what do you call dominos uh, we had uh, shailesh charibakti as joining as our auditor and there was a first board meeting for what happened so i think we got a big uh, uh, success of all that so i wanted to say that entrepreneurship is also not about challenges but sabar ka phal meeta hota hai we also had a great success now coming to that question what did what was that question you were asking me just now uh, sir compassionate capitalism like you mentioned even on the answer okay so uh, yes this is a favorite subject i have done more than 350 talks uh, across india in various business school from harvard isb imd spg and willinger and all i also have done in various forums like where uh, various corporates call me like axis rega kotak uh, you know all those but i also have my own set of network of friends in india and across india and we are like a small club and the talk that i do in various business schools abroad and various other forums is all about evolution the word i want to say is compassion capitalism is one thing i want to take all the business school students and all the hearers to something macro what do you call macro we are all engineers we are all doctors we are all mbas in marketing or in finance and we have started becoming silo aur hamare andar niche mein depth mein ja rahe to depth mein jaate jaate bahut baar width bhul jate so fortunately i was a student of liberal arts in my own way self study read a lot of books on literature economics history evolution industrial age so a broad vision had happened to me at a very young age and there are a lot of people entrepreneurs whom i see across india and across the globe with whom i am touch there is required a broad vision that's what i want to say so uh, before i come to compassionate capitalism i want to say there was something called a hunter age where we all as human beings were in the forest doing hunting 
and scavenging and we survive. That was one lakh years back, one lakh years back, what we say. Slowly, 10,000 years back, we moved to a new era from the hunter age to the farmer age. We moved to villages, we made small towns, we started doing farming. And in the farming era, or what, the agricultural age, suddenly that kings came or monarchy came. In the hunter era, there was a tribal leader. In the hunter era, there was a witch doctor. So in the agricultural age, there was a king or a monarchy. Then there was a priest who used to run the temple. You know, there was a priest, whether the Roman temple was there, whether the Egyptian temple was there, whether the Mesopotamian temple was there, or the Indus Valley Indian temple. Right. Priesthood was very common. So in the agricultural age, we saw monarchy, we saw religion. In the later age of the agricultural age, we saw Christianity coming and becoming very big. Islam coming and becoming very big in the 7th century. And suddenly religion also became very powerful. So whether the uh, kings were powerful or religion was powerful, we don't know. Whether the church was powerful or the Roman Empire was powerful, we don't know. There was a tussle between religion and this form. But these were the two power centers. And then came the voyages of discovery in the 15th century. Vasco da Gama, Columbus, the East India Company, the British as well came. And then suddenly we saw the industrial age. In the industrial age, the monarchy vanished. The kings went away. And we discovered what you call is capitalism. We discovered communism. We discovered fascism. 1945, fascism, Hitler and Mussolini vanished. 1990, Gorbachev and communism had a big question mark. Russian Empire fall. And 2009, when Lehman Brothers happened, there is a big question on capitalism. Yes, whatever we say, suddenly after the kings and then after the religious leaders, there is a new power post 15th century in the industrial age. That is the power of capitalism. That is the power of the merchants and the bankers. Yes, suddenly capitalism has got two brothers. One, the industrialist who is the powerful, who run the businesses, big corporates. The second is what? The stock market. The third is what? The banks. That's how the whole hierarchy is there. And we have two powers in the world in democracy. One is a political power and one is a economic power. Okay. So in the early stage of democracy and capitalism, the politicians had the power. They came with the mandate that the kings are not doing good. We will take care of you. We will take care of you. So for the masses or the poor, we'll provide education, we'll provide employment, we'll provide healthcare facilities, and we are here to take care of you. And on each vote, the democratically elected leader came to But to fight election, we required the power, money of the economist or the capitalist. Okay, so he fought the election with his money because the election costs you a lot in democracy. And over a period of time, post 1970, Margaret Thatcher and what you call Ronald Reagan, suddenly what happened? The politician lost all that power. Suddenly the capitalist started saying, you don't come and run businesses, no public sector. Don't control. We'll, we'll run the economy. And the politician was left only with the army, with the police, with the judiciary, and all the policy making. And the business was given to the private sector. This is 1970, 1980 to 2010. Now this has happened. But over a period of time, the politician has lost all this power to the capitalist. Now what has happened? In America, if you take example, the capitalists or the economists, they wanted more markets. So the American presidents gave them the world global market. Coca-Cola went global, Pepsi went global, Walt Disney went global. You, you name the company, uh, what you call Colgate Pomali went global, Unilever went global. So globalization started in a way, very big way. After some time, the same capitalist said, we want more profits. So we can't produce it in America. Let's outsource it to China. Let's outsource information to India. So the American politicians allow them to outsource. Over a period of time, the capitalists became rich or the people, as few you like, there is 5% of the world health is with, 95%, sorry, of the world wealth is with only 5%. Now, this is a question mark. There is a huge amount of inequality. There is a huge amount of inequality. That's where the question comes. And that we want to say is post-2009, we have been doing capitalism, but have you solved the problem of inequality? Can only 5% of the people hold 95% of the wealth? Okay. Now, this is a question where I say compassionate capitalism. Capitalism has to reinvent itself. Every organization, every business has to reinvent itself. If capitalism doesn't reinvent, we'll have one more Hitler coming in, one more Mussolini coming in, one more fascist coming in, and they'll say, or one more Stalin coming in, I'm here for the poor, I'm ready to help the poor, and they'll take the power. And suddenly, democracy will die. 
and we'll end up giving it to some totalitarian government the power who will only give speeches but not so capitalism is a great thing unless it starts taking and reducing inequality it will die that's why we said we have to reinvent capitalism through compassionate capitalism and through conscious capitalism there is good things in capitalism but inequality is not a good thing that's what i would like so sir considering i will get bored with me long thing this is normally a subject which is kept with a little macro level which i do it abroad with a lot of economists with a lot of group which is a very close held group and uh, today i said let me share it with you yes sir, i think you explained it beautifully so sir uh, considering this is a very tough time for everyone how has goli vada pav molded itself into you know um, helping the people and starting an initiative in these tough times like how have you been able to do that and how like on an extent of 1 to 10 how would you say it's been successful or what are the backlashes that you faced okay covid yeah so for so 15 years of goli vada pav there was every day there was stores across india and there is there is some 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs or 8 lakhs money comes into the bank okay. and the company despite having political challenges despite having investor challenges despite having franchise challenges uh, vendor challenges we have continued doing you know and as a company there was no problem we always survived because cash is king first time we faced there was no cash 300 stores in lockdown got closed down and I waited for a week. I waited for ten days, and nothing was moving. So I started. Uh, CNBC has done a book on me called My Journey with Vada Pav. We have published it many years back, and they were asking me to do the second and third book. There were other publishers talking to me, but I didn't have time to write the book. So when the COVID thing happened, I told my wife and everybody that okay, let me get my laptop and started uh, writing the new book on compassionate capitalism. And I started putting penning down my words. I wrote a little twenty-five thousand words, but a lot of people started asking me, "Up, you are free vada pav." I would have distributed some vada pav worth fifty thousand rupees, rupees. You know? And then there was a limitation. I have a board. I have a restriction. There is less amount of capital to be spent on this. So I kept quiet because I had some restriction. But my phones and messages started going to my wife Asha, and Asha had gone through a very severe cancer. You know, in the last one year, and she had gone through chemo. She had gone through surgery. and you know she was going through a lot of pain and uh, she was trying to do a lot of meditation ravi shankar meditation this days and starting days of covid even now she is doing and suddenly she started getting disturbed because of the messages venki is not picking up call so she said we have vada pav in our stores 300 stores and there are hungry people and the ngos are asking us to feed them hungry people and people are asking us why can't we do it so she went on a whatsapp with her friends uh, she was not very active on social media only whatsapp group she had school college colony and family and first she collected 5000 then she collected 10000 then she collected 50 1 lakh 3 lakh 5 lakh and the entire goli team came together and everybody was inspired we collected 10 lakhs 15 lakhs 20 lakhs 25 lakhs and the money started coming in give india came and became my partner built became partner and suddenly we realized that we had a purpose i will tell you first 10 days only we were sitting idle afterwards mm-hmm. asha started it there was no time to eat Morning, seven thirty to night, ten thirty. Me and Asha, being the leader, the entire time was busy collecting donations. Then we had to open stores in Lucknow. We had to open stores in Nasik. We had to open stores in Nagpur because we had to distribute it to the hungry. So get the, make the e-passes, talk to the police, get the e-passes for the boys, get the license for the stores to be opened up, get the bakery opened up, get the, the get a e-pass for that bakery boy, get the goods transferred from Aurangabad court room to Nasik, from Nasik court room to Nagpur, from Bangalore to this. Get licenses, open shops, open bakeries. Total confusion. Then becoming partners. So there was not a single amount of time we found it. Suddenly in COVID, everybody was watching TV news, and we were busy. like anything so that purpose gave us a good energy thanks to asha we all got a good energy and the entire team went mad not as a hurt of negativity and because of that the team got inspired and then people started calling us on zoom call media started writing and then negativity turned into a total positive thing we found a purpose that even in crisis we can do something good to society so i think what we all require is a good purpose in life and we discovered business is not all about money because the team was not getting salary but everybody collected donation even a store boy even a boy in a godown you know even a cluster manager like pupe or you know across india who were hardly drawing 10000 8000 12000 rupees salary they started collecting 100 100 rupees right. there was one boy who 100 rupees 
us. Imagine. So we got energized. We used to clap at the end of the day. We used to celebrate. Now I think we were inspired by what Asha did, and we got a purpose. And now all our stores are started getting opened up. Our products are totally done in a factory. No, our products are totally done in the last 2006 onwards. Our entire products, the last I would say 15 years, is done in a factory. No human hand touches it. The vada is made by Vista. The what do you call the chapati or the tortilla is made by General Mills. Mass chocolate makes the pav bhaji or the curry pav. Mekan makes the fry. So it moves from a factory. Every vada goes through a metal detector X-ray machine in the cartons, and then goes into a cold room. From the cold room, it goes into the store freezer. From the at the store level, the boy is wearing a mask, a glove, and he's got a temperature control gun. He puts it into the fryer. Cut the pav, which is made locally in a good bakery. So no human hand is touched. So 90% is done in a factory, 10%. So in COVID time, suddenly our stores have started opening up, and across India, our team and the customers are saying we are a safe food, and business is doing very well in all the stores that we have opened up. Now we have to started opening Maharashtra, started opening UP. What we feel, COVID is a great opportunity because we are a factory food and we are a safe food. A lot of food that was available on the footpath will now get closed down because consumers will be up. Afraid to eat those food, okay? And people will like to have a safe food. So we fall into your definition of a safe food. Second, what most important thing that is happening is that a lot of people have lost jobs. A lot of businesses have closed down. Small businesses across India, dealers, shops, and all. But a lot of franchisee inquiries started coming in. They just have to invest ten lakhs, and they can become an entrepreneur. So what we feel, the third government is talking to us, saying that how many livelihood can we create? So the three opportunities that I see post COVID is this. What is this? First is we are a safe food. That's a great opportunity. Second, I see is across India uh, a lot of franchise inquiries that are coming. So people who have lost job, people who are running small businesses, they just have to put ten lakhs, start a Gulliver Apostle. And the third is government is talking us how many livelihoods can we create at really big level across India, and we are saying we can generate one lakh livelihoods if you put from three hundred to three thousand stores, and each store will have something like four to five boys, you know, and then. We multiply the business. We can see fifty thousand minimum livelihoods that we can create. That's what we are looking. So, can you also elaborate a bit and tell the listeners about your social the initiative you have taken of feeding the people? Okay. So, the initiative is this. Uh, uh, what we do is we have partnered with Milt, which is a charitable organization. We have partnered with Give India. We have partnered with Donate Cart. Now we are doing it with Paytm also. So there are some links that we can share, give India and all, and uh, we have vada pavs across India. Okay, so mostly these migrant laborers which are going and the slum colonies where we had in Mumbai, uh, what you call Govindi, in Jogeshwari, in Navi Mumbai, you know, uh, the Devnar area or Turbe area, in Bangalore, in Nasik, in Aurangabad, in Nagpur, also in Lucknow. So there are migrant people, there are poor people, slum colony, and uh, we are. Giving them food in the evening. Char budget ki book. So char budget ki book is what we are doing. So when our volunteers go with Robin Hood, our most important partner is also Robin Hood. So we make the vada pavs and give it to them. Robin Hood is a great social organization across India where volunteers take food from our store and they give it to the slums. Okay, and these people when they go to the slum, they come back and tell me that kids in the slums, kids in the poor locality, the migrant laborers, they all come and. Ask for that vada pav. You know, that's a huge amount of work. It's a tasty product, and char budget jo book lagta hai. It's like called very huge because at twelve twelve thirty they will create a kichdi or they will have some grains. But there is a lot of hunger. We are trying to fulfill within hunger one category: char budget ki book and a tasty and a safe food. We are giving. Them. So we are seeking donations also. So we'll share the link with all of you. Yes. And give India and. and uh, how many pav? We have already done one point five lakh vada pav served. Can we serve another 1.5 lakh? Can we serve 5 lakh vada pavs in the next three months? That's what. It is. Right. So for the listeners, you can find the donation link in the bio or the description, and any any amount, any gesture would be appreciated. So, sir, just um, I'll be wrapping it up with the last question for the podcast about your message to all the budding entrepreneurs who who struggling with, you know, creating a brand for themselves, creating their venture in these tough times. Okay, now I can talk about my experience and my lessons. So I explained it to you about the Hari Milk Booth and where we were zero. You know, it happened two three times. We so one important lesson during the Hari Booth was we did exploration like Vasgoda Kamaikot. 
business. Business is all about exploration, a new idea. Okay, business runs on two things. I want to say, uh, one is in business school they teach you operations. Okay, operations once the business becomes big, once the business becomes of a specific size. But I think all businesses will also require a lot of exploration, like what's going to come and go. That's what the entrepreneur has to learn. Second is imagination. Okay, in business schools they teach us analytics. You know, in one of the meetings I remember in Delhi many years back, Mr. Narayan Murthy was there. On stage he said, "In God we believe, and rest is data." He was talking about analytics. After him I went on the stage and I said, "For a startup like me, imagination is more important than analytics. Imagination is something like this, where you see the world through the front view mirror, the front uh, what you call the windshield, which is so big." When you are riding a car on a hilly terrain in Ladakh or in Mahabaleshwar or in Uti, ninety huh? percent or eighty percent of your time you are looking through the windshield in the front. That is where imagination is all about. Only twenty percent or fifteen percent you look through the rear view mirror. That is analytics. So how much to use imagination and how much to do analytics is very important. The first is exploration, I said. Second is I said is imagination and uh, uh, analytics. And the third I want to say is that. While doing exploration, we did the mistake. Our day will be. It was the biggest mistake that we did. But because of that mistake, Goli became national. If it was not the politics of what about the media wouldn't have covered. If the media wouldn't have covered, we wouldn't have become national. In fact, when the R one and the IMDs of the world, Switzerland of the world, they came and did a case study, they all told me, "Vinky, what a strategy!" I said, "In India, we don't have strategy. It is destiny." So I think a lot of businesses also I, we have to start remembering that there is something called destiny. Everything can't be strategy. But what I did with Ari was most probably a strategy to be successful in Ari. But we became a biggest failure. It was my biggest mistake. I want to quote Columbus. Columbus wanted to find India, China, or Japan. Most probably he wanted to come to East. Okay, and everybody knew he was looking at Japan, China, or India. Most probably Japan, China. And he found India. He didn't find India. He found America. America was his biggest mistake. He didn't find spices. He couldn't get gold. But isn't America beautiful? Today, after Columbus, the world only looks at America. Right. So sometimes mistakes can be good. Mistakes can be good. The second sentence I wanted to say is: during our time, and everything collapsed. The only thing that I had, or my team had, a weapon was called courage. What do we call courage? So Paulo Coelho has written this beautiful sentence: the story of the world is written in one single language, and that language is called courage, courage, and courage. The story of the world is written in one single language, and that language is called courage, courage, and courage. So I think Paulo Coelho's first sentence was: "You have a dream. The dream has come in the womb of the universe. It is the responsibility of the universe to fulfill the dream. The universe conspires to help you achieve the dream." And the second is: "The story of the world is written in one single language: courage, courage, and courage." I think entrepreneurs have to marry and courage. Third, I want to say is the word that I want to use is faith. Have you seen Draupadi Vastaran in Mahabharat? Where Draupadi sari is being disrobed, okay. and she has her hand on her sari like this, and she said, "Hey Krishna, hey Krishna, hey!" But Krishna didn't come. This is 99% faith. This is 99% faith or 90% faith, and Krishna didn't come. But when she removed her hand and showed 100% faith and said, "Hey Krishna, help me," Krishna came. When I borrowed the two hundred of three crores and continued doing the business, that was 100% faith, and the universe doors opened to me. So I want to also take you to philosophy. A lot of business schools, a lot of business jargons, but there is something called spirituality. There is something called beyond all of us that we know, and there is something called energy, which you call God. There is something called which is invisible to us, which we call through yoga, through meditation, through pranayam, through reading spiritual books, through mantra chanting. So many ways. And I don't want to get into it. It's a totally different subject. But there is a science. And once you are connected with the universe, and when you are passionate, I think the universe opens the doors. भगवान एक हाथ से दरवाजा बंद करता है तो दूसरा हाथ से दरवाजा खोल देता है दिस आर सम फ्यू थॉट प्रोसेस व्हिच आई वांट टू शेयर विद मी विद माय एंटायर एंटरप्रेन्योर्स व्हाट आई वांट टू से इज करेज फेथ एक्सप्लोरेशन इमेजिनेशन एनालिटिक्स मिस्टेक्स राइट सो आई थिंक दैट वाज अ ब्यूटीफुल मैसेज एंड सम लर्निंग्स बीइंग पार्टेड फॉर द लिसनर्स एंड आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक यू फॉर द टाइम एंड थैंक यू फॉर द ब्यूटीफुल मैसेज यू गिवन अस Thank you, Mishika. Thank you, Amit, for introducing me to this, this wonderful, uh, you know, people who are doing mitti ke ran, na mitti ke ran. Yes. I really like what you are doing. That's why I got connected, and I said, let me 
go and connect with all of you and your friends. Thank you for it's also for the listeners. Once again, the donation link is in the bio and the description. Please go check it out if you love the initiative. Please, any gesture would be appreciated. Thank you.